Hey everyone, it's the Vipirin here and welcome back to the channel for another Crash Team Racing video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the method of getting a perfect starting boost in the beginning of each race. The reason I made this video is because I received a comment from a sub of mine on how did I get my boost meter to the maximum in every start of a race. Now that made me actually think and realize, yeah, why don't I actually make a video about it? Because in most of my online race experience, I've noticed that not everyone actually is doing this. This actually tells me that there are still players, especially beginners, that didn't actually know that you can do it. Or they might know how to do it, but they just can't simply time it right. So in this video, we'll be fully focusing on how you can get your starting boost to the maximum, how to time it perfectly so it becomes second nature to you. Oh, and also when you search for a starting boost guide in Crash Team Racing on YouTube, there isn't actually a single guide about it, so that's where this video comes in. So first of all, I'm sure most of you already know that you can hold the acceleration key at the start of a race to boost your meter up, and when the light turns green, you get a boost after that. However, there is a way to make your boost ramp up to the maximum, so by the end of the countdown, you will receive the maximum amount of boost from that starting boost. All you have to do is to repeatedly press and hold the acceleration key in a total of 3 times to reach the maximum boost. Don't spam it as it won't work, you have to hold it for a split second, let go, and then rinse and repeat. So yes, there are 3 levels of the starting boost. This is the first level if you press and hold it for the first time. When you release and press and hold it in the second time, it will go to level 2. Let go, press and hold for the third time and it will bring it to level 3, which is the maximum that you can reach. So this is what you call a perfect boost. Now that you know how this works, timing is another problem that most people face. Basically, it is a little bit hard to explain the timing, but I would highly suggest to start pressing and holding it on the second red light. It might be a bit confusing for some, so here's an example of the timing on my hand that I've recorded for you guys. So that's about it actually, really simple technique but not everyone does it. So take this advantage to boost ahead of your opponent that doesn't do a perfect starting boost. I know that this video is a little bit short but I want to put this out there because I know that there are many people that can definitely benefit from this one. If the video helped you out, do consider subscribing to the channel as every support by you guys is greatly appreciated. I do tons of tips and tricks on my channel as well so do check them out. This is the Vibrant signing off, thank you very much for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one.